Uh, my name is John Bryant and I'm the head teacher of a fantastic school called Arthur Bugler Primary School which is based in Thurrock in Essex uh, and I'm here just to go through a few things with regards to home learning during this this very very difficult time um, and, and I think the first thing I want to say is do you know what no one has ever ever experienced this before so there is no actual right way of doing anything so those people that are worried those parents and carers that are thinking they're not doing it right do you know what no one knows the right way. I'm a parent myself and, and I don't know the best way or the right way to do it. And it's really important at this time that people really focus on your child's mental health and well-being. It's a very difficult time and when, when we get through this, children will um, have obviously missed a lot of coming to school but you know, would, the, the impact of, of their well-being and their mental health will be something that really needs to be prioritised. So re really ensure that you, you focus on that. Um, and children will be affected by it. They, they they will be behind in their learning and would have missed things. And you know nothing replaces actually being in school and being being taught by the teacher and all of the social interaction. But you know what? Children are so resilient, um, and they'll come back to school. They'll be stronger than anyone. They'll be the ones at the forefront, wanting to move forward, learning all along the way. You know, it's us as parents and, and educators that that are the most worried. But do you know what? They'll be back. They'll they'll be they'll be ready to crack on with their learning and they'll pick up where they left off and so I don't think we've got to worry about it too much. And I would say also, do what's best for your child. Nobody knows your child better than you. So do the things that you think is right for your child. Yes, you'll get things from school. Work on those. But actually, when, when enough is enough, then move on to the other things. You know, because as I said, you know your child better than anybody. Have fun, laugh, make sure the children enjoy themselves. Well, you'll never get this time again. Do, do what you can to develop their language, develop their vocabulary and spend time and get to know them even more that, than you already do. Because as I say, you know, hopefully this will never happen again in our lifetime. And the last thing I would say is I'm sure you see lots of other parents and carers putting things on social media saying they've done this, they've done that and they've done that. And do you know what? They probably have. But don't compare yourself to anybody. You just need to be the best that you can be and make sure that child your child gets the best that you think that they need.